What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in this video, we're going over CleanSpark, ticker symbol CLSK. This stock, we're looking at the current daily chart. We're gonna actually dive into some of the latest news, see what we can find, then take a closer look here at the chart. But really quick, if you would not mind jumping down, subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up button and turning on those notifications. That is really, really appreciated here as well as grabbing your three free stocks with Webull. That's this desktop platform. The links for Webull are down below in the description. So here is the most recent piece of news as we're filming this video right now. So this came out November 10th at 9.25 a.m. CleanSpark has announced that they added Rachel Silverstein and Owen Cadwell Ladder to its management team. And it is important to note that Silverstein is a former corporate counsel at Zappos, a company which is owned by Amazon, and her role at CleanSpark is to serve as the vice president of compliance and general counsel. Now, generally with a piece of news like this, it's not really anticipated to see too much price action unless it's a very, very big name. And so we don't really anticipate to see much in the price action. Overall market was down a little bit yesterday, so CleanSpark was down. Now taking a look here, at the daily chart. What we put in here is we have this support line right here. So we had this prior level of consolidation. We came back up, came down, found some support here at this $6.88, so just around $7 or so, okay? Bounced up, came back down again, found support at $7, and I've started to put in an uptrend since. Now we're coming back down a little bit. Today we're up just about 1% at the time we're filming this video, but it does look to be like we may have seen some resistance here around that $9.50 for right now. So. As of right now, it looks like $9.50. We're gonna have to break above that. After that, $10. We have that 50 simple moving average, the MA50 here on the Webull platform. This blue line, that $10 line is the next level. We need to clear above that for a resume move to the upside. If we cannot, it looks as if $7 is support. If we do fall below that, then we could see a drawdown potentially under $6 and potentially further if there is a further drawdown, if there's no positive news and if things continue to the downside. But to the north over $10, it looks like we may have some resistance here by some of these tops in here around $11. And to be honest, it looks like every whole number will be an area of resistance beyond $10. So $11, $12, $13, those could be very key. This looks like a little bit of a gap we have right here from 1180 or so to just about 1235. That could be a little bit of a gap that could get filled if we do make a resume move to the upside. And then eventually here over 1350 over these tops, you wanna to look to these tops as areas of resistance in the past, this 1350 or so, will be a strong resistance and it looks like 14. And then after that, 1514 is the high that we're going to have to break above for a further move and a further breakout to the upside. But it looks like that will probably take some time for us to get there, at least as of right now. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it gives you something to think about. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and grab your three free stocks. The link in the pinned comment in the description down below. That's this desktop platform trading from 4 a.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern. Awesome trading hours, highly recommended. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.